Hello everyone, it's Rose. And today I have a double unboxing for you. So I'm going to be unboxing two things from two different stores. One is my 12 placer that I ordered from Everlasting Tips. And another is a diamond painting that was sent to me by Crafties. And so I'm so looking forward to opening them both. And I really hope that you're gonna enjoy this. So come along for the ride with me. Okay, so today we've got two items. One, a diamond painting from Crafties, and the second, a 12 placer from Everlasting Tips. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the Everlasting Tips first. And I want to show you that because I I have fallen in love with Everlasting Tips. I have the six placer, the nine placer, and a couple of one placers, all done in stainless steel. And I don't know about you, but I press really, really hard on my drills when I am diamond painting. And so when I was using the brass tips, the brass tips would, um, well, they'd get bent because uh, you know they'd sort of buckle and then they'd start marking up my drills. And uh, since I've been using the Everlasting Tips, the single placers, they, they're still in absolutely perfect condition. And of course, I use them every day for hours. And um, the multi-placers, well, don't even talk to me about them breaking. The plastic ones used to break all the time. And um the everlasting tips they're so fantastic <laughs> okay so nicole nicole must have watched my last video <laughs> because she says here hopefully you will like these stickers <laughs> because i threw away my last stickers i said oh, i'm never going to use them but <laughs> i love raccoons and <laughs> I love leftovers. Okay, so one of my favorite things when I just need a break from absolutely everything is to go on YouTube and watch videos of raccoons stealing pizza and just doing all sorts of stupid things. I love raccoons. Nicole, this is perfect. And this I will stick to my desk. <laughs> Okay, and here is Nicole's business card. And I'll, of course, uh, link the store down below in the description so that you'll be able to find her on Etsy. Um, but like I say, I've had now the stainless steel nine placer, the stainless steel six placer, and two single placers. I see that the single placer she sent me today is different. This is a special single placer. Ooh, and that 12 placer, wow, okay. Um, so before we actually look at the tips, let's take a look at the information package that uh, Nicole sends. This is, um, she's not kidding around here. Like her drills are top notch and I mean, even the paper, this is not, you know, some cheap, um, you know, bond paper that you buy for photocopying. Okay, so uh, stainless steel drill pill, pe bleh, stainless steel drill pen tips and multi-placers. Um, they are made from high grade stainless steel that won't rust, burr, wear down, crack or break. And I've been using mine now for, I don't know, months and months. And I use them for pushing my drills around on my canvases, which used to always break my plastic tips. They don't do that anymore. Uh, I use them for placing and I love them. I just love them. Um, and to change tips, she gives you detailed instructions on changing tips. I went through these instructions in detail in my last Everlasting Tips video, so I'm not going to do it now. Um, you can refer back to that. I'll put the link up in the corner so that you can uh, see what I did. And then um, on the back, 
she tells you like if well this is not the tip that she's going to use so this does not apply but if you're getting the other kind of tip the stainless steel tip which is this the same as this uh, brass tip except stainless steel then she gives you instructions for how to do that too so we're not going to need that today okay and um so now i'm going to set that aside along with the stickers and the card and i'm going to show you these tips so let's come down close and so here's how they come so the 12 placer uh when i ordered it one of my viewers had told me that nicole had posted a uh, hundred of these available and uh, so I ran out and bought them well I bought this one right away and Nicole included this one in the kit for me um, which I am ever so grateful for because that is a beautiful tip wow that is a I mean that's the nice thing these are things of beauty as well as purely functional like just wow okay so um i have uh, a drill pen that i'm going to be putting these in and i got this is a cheap drill pen i mean i feel bad now putting uh these fantastic tips in a cheapy drill pen but um i just got this on one of the websites i can't remember which one i'll include the link down below and um, so it came with a whole bunch of different uh, multi-placers in plastic and the, the regular tip. Um, but the reason I bought it was that I knew that these were coming and I wanted a new pen to, um, to insert them in because Nicole doesn't sell the pens themselves. So let me get into this. There we go. And so these will fit into any drill pen. Uh, if you want to put them in a pink drill pen, you can do that. Uh, I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, actually, I say I don't know why you would, but I know a lot of you like to work with the pink drill pens. So um, if you just want a better uh, quality tool on the end of it, then this is for you. So it doesn't matter which end I put which in. It's a simple case of inserting it in here. Now, Nicole makes her tips so that they'll fit in whatever pen you want to put them in, okay? So they will, oh, here it's a nice tight fit. Okay, that's a nice tight fit. Mm, and I will push that down a little bit more let's see how this one fits in here no it's still loose on this end so what i do is i try to find some coordinating washi tape and i happen to have this holographic tape that i got at the dollar store at christmas a little while ago um not this christmas but the christmas before so what i'm going to do is just wrap that my pen's rolling around so that's annoying me but I'll try and just not let it interfere with what I'm doing here so I just wrap that washi tape around here I might have wrapped too much because it's not going to take too too much All right. there we go and it is a little bit too long for the shaft of this for the uh, hole that's been drilled in the pen so I'm just going to clip that off like that so now I have a little bit of washi tape that's a coordinating color to the pen. And, oh, I need a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Got lots of this. Yeah, because this is really, really thin tape. Like, super thin tape. Much thinner than other washi tape. All right. But the reason I'm doing this a little bit at a time is because you know if it gets too tight then that's just you know a pain in the butt so I'd rather apply multiple 
um, bits, then have it uh, be too much. Okay, well, that's not as flat as I'd like it, but it should be okay. And then again, I just snip off the tip here. There we go. All right, so now I've thickened the stem of this everlasting tip, and I hope I haven't thickened it too much. I think I did, so I'm gonna have to remove just a little bit, and I'm just gonna remove a little tiny bit at a time until I can fit it in there. Now, you could also use um, hot glue, and I've done that, but I find that the hot glue Well, that's, that's, that's fitting. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the tape that came loose here. So there, just snip that off there. And now, I mean, I could fiddle with this until it was absolutely perfect, and I will do that off, off screen. But now I have a tip in there that's not going anywhere. Okay? Um, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, this one here, I'm just going to fuss with it a little bit to uh, push it in there a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to do that on screen either, uh, just because. And um, so the next thing that I, I would do is I would fill these up with wax or whatever you're going to use. Um, whatever your favorite wax is, you can use them in these everlasting tips. Uh, right now I've been using um, museum putty quick hold museum putty and uh i mean i like it i like it but it takes a while until it settles in anyway i'm not sure what i'm going to fill these with but i will fill them with something and then i will show you me working on them at the end of this video all right so that is this beautiful pen and they're nice and heavy so it gives a good feel in your hand um and i just like the feel of of these acrylic pens. I, I just, I like them. And so I'm perfectly happy to use um, the everlasting tips in these pens. So, all right, that is the everlasting tip. And like I say, I will show you at the end, uh, me using it. And then we have the crafties unboxing to do. So I'm excited about this. I noticed that the box came a little bit crushed and you'll be happy to see that they do come in a box which does protect them from what I call the indignities of shipping. And uh, let's just get in here. So even though the box came a little bit crushed, I'm not too concerned because that box is going to protect the diamond painting from uh, getting crushed. And so that is the main thing to me. I don't, I throw away the boxes. So, well, I throw away most of my boxes. So um, it doesn't matter to me if the boxes get crushed. All right. So here we go. Now, um, this is the first time that I've gotten one of these boxes uh, a little bit crushed. But that's why I'm so glad for the structure of the box that helps to protect the diamond painting inside. All right, let's see. So the Crafties kits, they are premium. And one of the reasons that you pay a little bit more for them is that they do ship them in boxes, which costs them more. So the diamond painting came through with no folds that I can see. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna open all of this on camera. And um, so I'll just talk through this a little bit. So Crafties is, um, I think a fairly new diamond painting company. They do diamond paintings and paint by number. And paint by number is something that I'm also trying for my channel. So I've ordered a few um, and we'll see how, you know, we'll see how I like them. We'll see how you like them uh, as to whether or not I'm going to continue. Uh, but Crafties has all of their art is uh, 
legally licensed. So they actually pay the artists for the work that they use uh, to make their diamond paintings and paint by number kits. And right now, their, uh, their diamond painting collection is a little bit um, less robust than the paint by number collection. They have some amazing paint by numbers and they often have variations on a theme by the same artist. So David Loblaw, for example, there are a whole bunch of jellyfish uh, themed um, paint by numbers. I got the David Loblaw jellyfish um, diamond painting kit and it's gorgeous. And I just wanna make sure that you can see all of this. No, you can't, so let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is Numico and it is a painting by Sybil Art. And I got another one of Sybil Art's diamond paintings from Crafties the last time, and that was the purple hat, and it was beautiful, just beautiful. So um, this is advertised as 30 by 50, and it is just shy of 30 centimeters. And just shy of 50 centimeters. And so that is, um, I say that's close enough because when they're printing the diamond paintings, they have to go according to the original work and you don't want them to squash or stretch the original work. So when they make it to a particular size, they're trying to get as close to that size as possible without squashing or stretching. So, um, so that's why you don't always get exactly the, the dimensions that are advertised. So, but this one is true to size. And um, it has 28 colors. And one of the other nice things about Crafties is they identify on the legend with uh, different shading for the DMC codes, the special shapes or special colors, um, special types of drills. So we've got three special kinds of drills here. And uh, this looks beautiful. Now this is done in the pixel style for round diamond paintings where there are squares of color on the canvas for each of the um, drills that, so the drills will fit on a, a square of color. Uh, and in a size this big, with a fairly simple image like this, that works really nicely. So I haven't looked through the camera at this yet, but just with my eyes, I'm looking at this and I know this is gonna look beautiful. I, I can tell because I can see the definition in her eyes. I can see um, the different shades in, in, her, uh, in her pupils and her irises and so forth. Um, the hearts look like hearts and the stars look like stars and the little fishes look like little fishes. So that's what I look for when I'm looking at a, um, a diamond painting to see whether it's too pixelated. It's can I tell close up what those things are? And you can tell with this. Um, so yeah, so this is great. Let's take a look at the legend and the drill area. And um, I'll just let you look at this while I talk a little bit. Let me zoom into 1x so you can see it in real size. Um, so Crafties, they have a slogan and it's art therapy for everyone. And one of the great things about diamond painting is that it is art therapy. You don't have to be an artist to take great pleasure in creating works of art. And diamond paintings, like the ones you get at Crafties, actually help you to be able to create your works of art because they give you the materials that you need, including the gorgeous images like Numico. Um, Diamond painting is also a form of, I guess it's an alternative therapy, uh, art therapy, 
because I don't know about you, but when I'm diamond painting, I just go into like a meditative state and whatever the troubles of the day were or whatever anxiety I might have been face facing or feeling, if I was frustrated or upset about something, it all goes away when I diamond paint. And I'm just looking at this canvas and it's so clear. Now it's got some really, really complicated symbols in there, which normally I would say, what? But like, for example, these hashes here, that's a super complicated symbol. And yet, look how clear it is on the canvas. I'm not gonna have any trouble reading any of these. Like you guys know that I don't usually like percent signs, but those percent signs, you couldn't possibly confuse them with anything else. Um, let me just see if there's an X. I wasn't, let me see if there's an X because if there is an X on the canvas, that might be confused. There is, there is an X. So we're going to see if we ever see the percent sign and the X together, because that's sometimes where I get confused is percent signs and X's. Um, so we see a lot of the percent signs. I haven't seen X's yet. Everything else looks super clear to me, which is why I haven't really been commenting on it a lot. Yeah. So while I look for an X and just check to make sure that I can read everything else on here, um, I want to talk a little bit more about Crafties. So Crafties is the only diamond painting company that I've come across that actually has uh, a set of values. And they have three values that guide the company's um, operations and so forth and, and their, their choices in terms of how their business runs and so forth. So number one is art therapy for you. And I think that's what I was talking about earlier, where, you know, when I diamond paint, I go to another place, a happy place. Uh, it calms me. I diamond paint towards the end of the day because I just feel, it just takes away whatever was bothering me uh, throughout the day. Their second value is support for artists. And so they get their work from licensed they rather they license their work from professional artists like Sybil Art. Uh, they have quite a few of her pieces licensed and David Loblaw and they have a, a bunch of other artists uh, whose work they license and and use and it it's lovely to be able to come across art in a diamond painting store that you don't see everywhere else and that you know that the artists are actually being helped to make a living from because uh, if it weren't for that we would not have a lot of artists and then the third value and i'm still looking for the x so i'm just going to go up i know it's kind of a pinky color I'm going to look for it in the pinks. You guys have probably seen it already, but I'm trying to talk and uh, search at the same time. And sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time with that. So yeah, their third value is unique products. And again, that's, I guess, what I was talking about without... Um... Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, there's the X. So it's this lavender. Then we have the percent sign which is that much, much lighter pink, uh, you're not going to confuse those two. At least I'm not going to confuse those two. I have to remember, I can't speak for you. Uh, I will not confuse those two. And I think that the percent sign, yeah, that's really clear. Yeah. Okay, so I'm good with the way that they've charted this canvas. I think it looks really, really great. Very nice. Okay, so there we go.
All right, so let's now take a look at the kit and the drills that come with Numico. So the kit is two pens, a boat with funnel, a pair of tweezers, two squishies. Uh, we've got a, looks like a six placer on the end here, a three placer on the end there, and a piece of wax. So there you go. Um, very nice kit. Very, very nice. And I think it's fantastic that they send you two different multi-placers, which is great because what I find is you need different sizes of multi-placers when you're working on different parts of your diamond painting. And look at these colors. They are just beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to get into these and we're going to look at them in detail. Alrighty then. These are such beautiful colors. So you know what? Um, yeah, I love this. All right, so let's take a look. And I am expecting all of these to be really good because I like this kind of striped packaging uh, in the ribbons. I like the fact that kitting up is gonna be really easy because you really only have to open one bag of any given color. Unless, I oh, know, there's there's different colors here. Sometimes there's so much of a particular color that there will be multiple bags, but usually they try to put all of a uh, single color in a single bag if it'll fit. And here we have our first special drill. And so I'm looking at these and I'm thinking that they are um, the higher quality crystal drills. I'm getting right up close and personal with them because what I'm looking for is any that might have scratches on the bottom. I see one that has a scratch, uh, but I have not seen any others and I don't see any that are cupped or con well, concave is the technical term for it. Um, and so there's nothing that I would have to throw away. Uh, because it won't stick to the canvas. So one that was mildly scratched. And other than that, they all look fantastic. And then we have just a few 310s. And then we get back into these light, spring-like colors. What a beautiful diamond painting to be working on as we move from winter into spring. Well, I know in many places uh, right now, people are moving from winter into spring. In Ottawa, we still have a lot of snow, but working on a diamond painting like this would certainly give me the idea of spring being right around the corner. So yeah, let's, uh, these are lovely colors. And 28 colors all together in this. So this is going to have some really nice definition when you get up into that number of colors. Beautiful. I love this. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. And then I'm not done yet. We have, ooh, ooh we have these clear crystal drills. That's just gorgeous. And again, I'm looking at them very carefully because crystal drills tend to have a lot of bad drills in them. Um, but these look spectacular. Yeah, really good. Really, really good quality. And these colors are wonderful. Now, they don't have DNC numbers on the packages themselves, but since they have them on the legend, that's all I need. Beautiful. Love these. These bottoms are so flat. And then here we have our third crystal drill. This gorgeous blue. I love that they intermix crystal and regular round drills on their kits. 
That's beautiful, everybody. That is just beautiful. So um, I've got my pen. I've got my drills. I've got my canvas. I love this. I love everything about it. Um, and I promised you that I would work with the Everlasting Tips. So I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse working on Numico. And let me get set up over at my drafting table. And I'll be right back. Now, the time lapse will just have music to it. No talking, just music so that you can relax. And do relax. I'm going to do my outro now so that we'll just ease right into the credits at the end uh, from the diamond painting. I want to thank Liza at Crafties for sending me this gorgeous diamond painting Numico by Sybil Art. This is number 753 in my inventory. I'm going to start working on it right now. And um, yeah, I, I, I know I'm going to love it. I also want to thank Nicole from Everlasting Tips for the beautiful quality that she puts into making these fantastic multi-placers. And I just love this. What an elegant single placer. And I will fit that in there a little bit better. Um, and I want to thank all of my patrons all of my subscribers and all of my viewers. So with that, everybody, let's watch some time-lapse diamond painting and have a great rest of your day.
Thank you.